All right, welcome back. We are sideboarding um, for our matchup against Blue Red Control. Having 5-5 five, five Flyers uh, will become very relevant in the mid to late game, mid to late game. Uh, namely, our Thunderbreak regents there will be able to uh, eat his prognostic sphinxes. So we would like to stick some of those. Rending Volley is still a good call. Um, I say. I think that it, uh, you know, replaces Wild Slash pretty well in this matchup. He has Blue Flyers as his win conditions. So, um, so the Hall comes in. We need to make one cut, probably a strike just a run-of-the-mill strike there yeah and we'll go into game three on the play and ready to rumble that's a keeper that is a keeper Our opponent is playing cards like uh, Magma Spray and Spell Heart, Spell Heart Chimera. Pardon me. So it's a it's a spicy brew. Hmm. Great. Uh, you know potential here for turn two two one drops. Uh, if he has a Magma Spray, he's probably going to use it on Zergo here. Or a wild slash, etc. Oh, Magma spray the swift spear. Okay, probably the correct call overall. God, I hope his hand is not just stacked with one man one man or removal spells. That's definitely a way to. Uh, play around our deck until we hit uh, higher ends of our curve here. So this is pretty good. Okay, so I think we pump and hold up strike for his end step? No, because if he's going to play the Chimera, he's going to play it uh, on turn three, ideally. So maybe we uh, Lightning Strike and leave up Rending Volley. And pass the turn. Oh, the sideboard. It hurts. Okay, we're running into a similar problem uh, as game two in that uh, we don't have a lot of gas. So, drawing Thunderbreak Regents, drawing uh, Stoke the Flames, these are all cards we want to see. And if the opponent uh, does cast a Chimera here, we're ready. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, deck. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yep, just a, uh, a handful of counter and removal spells, and our House of Cards comes tumbling down, it would seem. Having some interesting matchups today, the uh, Mirror Match and now the Blue-Red Control, both of which are... Uh, you know, based on my very limited experience, not um, very favored. The uh, Fire Dancer Seder was really good in the mirror match. Our opponent had it. For the record, we don't. Uh, I might want to pick up some of those. Yeah, this is just uh, blue-red control. 
doing something. Gonna cast a Sphinx. Is it gonna scry you three? Is it gonna be good? Oh, divination. And scry. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. Have not played against this archetype before. So, and I, uh, I for one thought pre concept arc here, wow, that uh, Sphinx, uh, uh, Prognostic Sphinx was going to have a place in control decks post rotation. I thought it was a good card. Like it's, it's very hard to deal with. So, uh, yeah, it's being used effectively against us. Get it out of here. Oh, thank goodness. You're kidding. The gate, right? Oh. Oh. The bad feelings. All right. We're just... Uh, on rails here to be beaten down in four turns. Huh. Well, that helps. I mean, not a lot at this point. Trading with a Spellheart Chimera. Yeah, he just has more counter magic. Is a nightmare scenario. I wonder why our matchup, uh, our black control matchup is good. Uh, but this one seems rough. Maybe it's just that he's more proactive. Um, yeah, either way though, it is interesting. Oh boy. Okay, two turns. Okay, I don't care. I choose pile one, though. You can't have a Sphinx. Stop it. Steam Augury. Man, this is the all-in blue-red deck. This guy is, is it for life. Not saying that's bad. Like, that's great. <laughs> I just, uh... Yeah, hey, there's something. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we get one more draw step, maybe, probably, hopefully. Wow. Okay, eight mana. This is vaguely terrifying. Oh, yeah, just Craters Claw me for seven. Makes sense. Okay, good finisher. Ugh. Not even getting killed by Nykthos with Craters Claws. All right, well, I'm a little salty. Um, let's review, though, for good measure. I played some... I don't know, though. Like... Playing the Thunderbreak Regent didn't feel optional, even though we were playing it into a Dissolve. Um, we had two Rending Volleys, you know, like we drew our tech, or our sideboard, at any rate. Um, thank you guys for watching. Can't win them all. Um, definitely need to uh, make some better sideboard options available. Uh, to our deck, like uh, the Fire Dancer Seder would be pretty useful because then we can still burn and remove his spell hearts or burn, uh, you know, like uh, post combat stoke to finish off a. Uh... Anyway, I don't think the blue red control is really going to become a, uh, a much played, I should say, deck in the metagame. I'm not going to call it like bad because it just beat us clearly you can call it bad it didn't look good <laughs> but that's about as far as i'll go 
Um, but yeah, anyway, as I said, thank you guys for watching. If you like the videos, like the analysis, um, like my dulcet tones, then uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more of all of the above. And until next time, I'm Max, and take it easy.